my name is Natasha Sidova and I'm the captain of this Fjord 40 boat in Miami. I became a captain by chance. I got a job as a mate and a stewardess on charter boats here in Miami first. And after having done it for five years, I got my captain's license. I've been in Miami for almost 12 years. I live next to a marina and I used to walk my dog past all the pretty shiny white boats and I started wondering, how do I get on those? <laughs> so I looked up a bunch of charter companies and I sent out my resume and eventually got a call from one of them. everything I could and I've been on multiple boats and multiple charters and um, I wanted to do something a little more exhilarating. Not allowed. We're no wings <laughs> This particular day, it wasn't windy and we were in about 10 feet of water, so we let out about 30 feet of chain. So one of the challenges of being a female captain is lifting heavy stuff. That happens quite often, as you might have seen I had to lift an anchor five minutes ago. That's quite heavy. <laughs> uh, I also run my boat without a mate, so I dock it without any help. On windy days, sometimes it can be quite challenging. If you want to charter a boat, we can cruise around the bay, <laughs> see the houses of celebrities. I'll show you Star Palm and Hibiscus Islands. We can go up Miami River. There's several restaurants on the water, such as Casablanca, Garcia, Sea Spice, Kiki's on the River, which is a lot of fun on Sunday nights. You can go to Key Biscayne and just anchor out there at the Key Biscayne Sandbar, where you can land a float mat and just enjoy the day in the water. For anyone who is thinking of possibly trying to learn how to drive a boat, be it for pleasure or for making it their career, I say definitely do it. It's a lot of fun, it can be challenging, but it's also very exciting.
closest I was able to getting to being a dolphin was to become a bobcat in Miami.